Hello everybody <clears throat> and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial you're going to be learning about creating levels in your game. Now I've already done the code for you because what if I had to type it and stuff and then explain to you at the same time it would take entirely too long. I already made a video earlier and trying to type it and explain it and it took about like 20 minutes. So whatever. Uh, and right before we get into this I'm making a website for you guys. So lots of people have been have been asking for my source code and stuff. So I'm going to be creating a website with all my videos and all my source code and all and you'll be able to ask questions and all the stuff on that website. Right? Um but I'm not coding it cuz I don't have time to code a brand new website. So I'm using a website builder because the website is very basic. So it's fast production with the website builder. Anyways, uh uh, I'll tell you when it's released, but let's get into the code. So let's go to map.h. Uh, as you can see, I made a new integer called level. Now, if you haven't noticed already, um, my int map file now has three dim dimensions rather than two. Now, this dimension I added to the front <coughs> is the level dimension, and it's basically going to indicate which level, um, the um, what map to draw on what level, right? So that's basically it. So now we have int get level and we have void set level with the parameters int value in there. Now if you notice that um level is in the private um area. Well, it sounded weird. But anyways, so now it's it's the property is set to private. So uh what you have to know is that only the class itself can only use a, um, a variable that is private, right? So what you have to do in order to get the value of that, we make functions, um, we make public functions that can get the value, and we make another function that can set the value uh, so that we can change it and get the value of it. And you might be saying, why not just make level public or make it easier? Yes, it will make it easier, but... I, I, don't ask me why, but it's good programming practice to do that. Well, I think a good thing is that um something about private variables or something. When you compile your program and give your source code or something, this part is hidden or something. I'm not I'm not really sure. I'm not going in depth in that. You can search it for yourself. But that's the reason why we have header files and CPP files and all that stuff. So, anyways, now that we got that down, let's go to our map dot cpp and let me just move this over here so uh let's go to our net function first now remember in our load map function we had another uh we added a parameter int level here so what we're gonna do is load our map one dot text map two dot text map three dot text and and set it to zero one two right and this essentially is saying that this is level 0, level 1, level 2. And because remember, array start at 0, right? So you'll understand what I mean later. So let's go down to our load map. So when we put in our level, say we're loading map 1.txt. So our level is set to 0. So when we load everything into our map file, this is going to be 0. And it's going to load everything into the map file right here, right? And the rest of the program stays the same. Okay, so now let's go to our int map um, get level. And I know I'm moving kind of fast, but I want to finish this in one video. I don't want to split up into two videos because I don't want it to get too boring. I want to get into enemies and stuff. Anyways, in our int map get level, we're going to return the level. So we're going to be able to get the value of level. And in our void map set level int value in the parameters, we're going to set level equal into the value that you put in. So that's easy enough. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Now in our draw math, I'm going to draw a function. Uh, we're going to put level in the parameters here. Because remember, we made a variable called level, right? So um, it's not like we need it in the parameters. The only reason why we need the um, level in the parameters here is because we have to declare which level that we're loading. Right, that's the only reason why we need it in the parameters. So right here, we're just gonna put level here, level here, level here. And another thing I added is an else if statement um, that's equal to four. And if the 
the if it's written four in the map file then we're gonna draw a yellow block and the yellow block is gonna indicate the door or whatever the thing to transfer you to the next level and one thing that you should you should note at the top set level to zero um, if you don't set level to zero then your program will not work properly because it has to know what level to start drawing so now let's go to our collision um, dot h and for our collision map file we do the same thing with a third dimension putting three in there because we're going to have three levels and we have a new function called level end and it's going to be a player and player and map percent map and for a platform collision we're gonna and add at the end map ampersand map um, for the the object the instance of the object and for update we're gonna add map ampersand map in our update function as well so now let's go to collision uh, so at our collision we do the same thing with loading we load collision map 1 collision map 2 collision map 3 and we set 0 1 and 2 so this is the first map second map and third map okay and uh let's go down to low collision map same thing you just have to put level here um as a third dimension so now uh let's scroll down uh to the platform collision now remember how we had our get uh remember how we have th three dimensions now now since level is private we have to use our get level function in order to actually get the level right of the map so we use map since it's a map instance map dot get level and we have to put the parentheses because it's a function and that in turn will replace this with the actual level number if you don't understand what I'm talking about then you need to learn more on functions and then come back to this tutorial so that's it for the pl platform collision function. Now for the level end function, we are going to copy everything from the platform collision from the for loop for the two for loops and checking if the collision is false or not, right? So if there's no collision, that means you never the player never reached the end of the map or reached the door. Now if there is a collision, then we want to make level equal we create a new variable here and it's equal to map dot get level so it's equal to the actual level that we're on and then we increase the level by one right and then we set the level using our set level function we set the level to our new value um therefore presenting the new map and then we're in this case we're just going to say if level is greater than two then we set the level equal to zero again so then once you reach the end of the third map it's going to go back to the first map again and we would change this after saying your high score blah blah later on but for now for this tutorial we just want to do that so it doesn't crash now right here we have player dot x um is equal to player dot ridge x now you don't know what a ridge x is because we never created one so now let's go to our player dot h and let's go to and let's create new two new variables a ridge x and a ridge y that stands for original x and original y and that's the position that you want um the player to start off on each level so let's go to our player dot cpp and we set our original x and our original y to whatever you want i just set it to the x and y value since that's where you start off at the beginning of the game so anyways uh enough of that let's go to collision.cpp so we set x and y to the original x and the original y and we just clear the color to screen to the black we just clear the screen to black so we know that it's transferring levels and we just rest for a second so just just indicating that it's a transfer of levels we'll change this to be cleaner later but for now it's just indicating that you're transferring levels so now that we got that down let's go to our update function so our update function um, all I have to do is change the platform collision add map there and put player and map right here in the collision the level end um, of the collision class now let's go back to our main.cpp so for a collision update you just have to add map to the end of that and that should be it uh, for that so I'm not sure I don't think I missed anything if you have any problems then you can uh, contact me on that or comment on that and then I'll make a corrections video number two if there's any problems 
but if I run the program then this is what you should get so oh I never changed it from last tutorial so as you can see there is a yellow um, box over here and when you touch the yellow box the screen goes black and shows a brand new level and whatnot oh yeah and there was something that I did indeed forget to show you so let's go to notepad plus plus now I created three new maps so you need to create three maps and name them whatever you want but when you're loading them remember you have to put the correct name when you're loading them so I made my map um two and okay let's go back to map one I said the number four there in my map number one right and uh basically that's indicating the color yellow that's going to indicate um that is the transfer that that's a door to the next level now my collision map remember we had only zeros and ones we actually have a two there and the two is going to indicate the transfer to levels so let me go back to the code and let me go to collision.cpp and uh let's scroll down 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 all the way to the level end and remember the collision map file that get level but you have to set it if it's equal to two not one so if the player is touching a tile that's equal to level two on the collision map then they will transfer so remember when you have the switching from levels to levels you have to have a value of two in your collision map file and I have those in all my collision map files if you notice right so that's it for this tutorial um remember if something doesn't work then don't be afraid uh to comment or inbox i'd rather comment but yeah so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe so thanks for watching bye